So once you get your Flexbox container set up and your Flexbox items in there, now we can align our items, our boxes here, and we can use our justify content, align items, or align content properties. So when arranging our flex items, we're going to be looking at the main axis, which is our horizontal axis. This will be our rows, and we'll be using our justify properties. And then our cross axis, which goes vertically, and this will be our columns, and when we use our and we'll be using our align properties. So let's first look at justifying the content. You can see some of them here, flex start, flex end, center, space between, space around. And let's go ahead and look at that in our HTML. So here we have some flex items arranged, and this is our HTML setup. So here we have our div, our flex container, and within there you can see our three flex items. And then next we have our CSS. And you can see we have so far we have our display flex and our colors and some of our stylings. Okay, so let's add a justify content. And the flex start is already the default. And you'll see that that's what this is right here, so you don't have to add that. And so we're gonna we're gonna try the flex end, which will bring it to the end of our main axis here. So let's see. And there you see it brings it to the very end. And that will be at the end of the browser. So whenever you bring your browser in, um, those items will stay at the end of the main axis. Now if we change the end flex end to center. Now we see our flex items in the center of the main axis. So now if we change it to space between, now you see we have our space in between our flex items. And we have these two at the very ends, and then it will center the remaining items between those. Now if we change this to space around, that will add the space, probably the same amount of space that's here, Go, we'll split it up evenly on the sides of the end items. Okay, let's see what happens when we add height to our container. We'll add about 500 pixels. And you can see it stretches our items down to the, to the bottom, from the top to the bottom of the container. Um, let's try, change this to, actually, let's, let's change our direction. Um, so flex direction, and right now we're in rows. Let's change it to column. Okay, and here, and you have the space around. Let's change this to flex end. Our justify content to just end. That should push all our items down to the end. And we try center, see what that does. That will move our boxes to the center. And you can see how the different properties that you add and can actually go in and change and how you can arrange your items. Okay, so let's look at align items. So in our CSS, under our flex container, we're going to add a width. We'll make that 500 pixels. 
And let's go ahead and add our align items. And the default is stretch. So if we add stretch and refresh, um, oh, you know what? We're going to change the width to height. That way we can see the little stretch. There you go. So I can see the, the item stretch. And this is the default. So let's add flex start. Oops. Okay. And refresh. And there we see if you have your boxes that are already set up with, you can see I have some minimum heights already set up. And box three is 150 pixels minimum height, uh, two is 100, and box number one is 75. And you see that now it will show the actual size of the items. Okay, so, so with flex start, we can see that the top of our items are aligned at the top of our container. So let's change our flex start to flex end. And now we can see the bottom of our items are aligned at the bottom of our container. So then when we change our flex end to center, you can see that our, our main axis, it, it centers all of the items within that main axis there. Okay, so now let's look at a line items baseline, which will uh, change, or I'm sorry, align them to the text. So here now it's aligning it to the text, but it's kind of hard to tell because it looks about the same as um, flex start. So let's let's kind of to sh show this example, let's go ahead and I'm going to go into H my HTML and delete my H3. And let's see, let's go ahead and take out the padding here. And I'm going to add it to my box number two. I'm going to make it padding top. Change this to 50. And refresh. And here you can kind of see how the aligns, it aligns the top text right here. And that padding that I added to the 50, that just kind of shows it. This it's not aligning to the tops of the box, but aligning to the to the text. All right, so now let's look at align content. So we're going to add the alignment property or align content and we'll make this one flex start and here we see it stretches and it really is just kind of stretching the boxes and in order to get this one to work um, we're going to need to add the wrap feature. So in our flex container, let's add our flex wrap. And we'll go wrap. And let's refresh that. And now you can see how our items Instead of stretching, now they wrap around. And again, we can try at, uh, some different values here on the align content property. Uh, let's try uh, center. And here you can see it centers.
and uh, we can try flex end. Well, it did flex start on me. Let's see if I can get the chain to go to end. Okay, and there you see it starts at the bottom. And maybe one more, let's try a uh, space between. And there you got the space in between. And that's what you can do with the aligned content.